A regional junior doctors committee is usually made of any doctor who is interested in um, leadership, interested in improving their terms and conditions locally. Um, so it's open to all BMA members and it's the basic fundamental building block of junior doctors representation where you can find more information about what's happening nationally and you can get involved as much or as little as you want. So the main way that I got involved with the BMA and specifically the regional junior doctors committee was via my own local negotiating committee. They said you should, there's a vacancy, do you think this is something you'd be interested in, went along and I was like, actually the BMA is this really powerful organisation that really cares and can really just really equip their juniors with the ability to make sure that they get access to safe training, to fair rotors, to making sure they're paid adequately and on time. You can actually make changes to the working conditions. So um, you can, if you're working an unfair, uh, unsafe rotor, you can actually do something about it and change it. The hospital I was working in where I was on the LNC, um, some other junior doctors said to me that they felt that their rota wasn't really matching what um, the banding was given. They were told it was a 1A banding. So I said to them, you, know, you should really go to, um, to the BMA, to your LNC, and see what we can do about this. And they seemed very reluctant, and I kept encouraging them. And we actually managed to get the rota looked at by the BMA, and it turns out it was actually a band free rota. And as a result, each one of those uh, junior doctors got a back pay of £4,700 from the trust. And that was a really big win in a small hospital and that was really encouraging, I think really empowered those juniors to realise actually going to your trade union, having a vacant trade union and how, just how much you can achieve. So I would encourage all of the less than full time trainees um, to go to their RJDCs. I think instead of finding frustrations at your workplace and just sort of grumbling about them to your colleagues, come forward to a place where we can take those issues forward and, and help you with them. And RJDC is a friendly and open place where you can do that and you can become or put yourselves forward for election for the role of less than full-time trainee rep as well and come to the national meetings and see how the issues that you bring up move forward and, and end up with BMA policy. I would strongly encourage you to come, find out what we are about, hopefully put yourself forward to one of these positions. More than half the people attending the AGMs in September will be brand new with no previous medical politics experience. It's a really welcoming committee, so please visit our webpage and please consider attending our AGMs.